The fact that cyberspace is recognized as an official battlefield and a fifth operational NATO domain set cybersecurity as a key factor of national safety, public welfare, economic prosperity and overall global security. So, the data are nowadays the most valuable assets and it's our highest commitment to do everything it needs to protect them. So, when it comes to cyber resilience, we can talk in one simplified definition like a preventive measures of how organizations are capable to cope with cyber incidents and at the same time retaining all business core functions. As Stefan Nepal said, it takes 20 years to build a reputation and just a few minutes of cyber in incident to ruin it. One more definition that technology trust is a good thing, but control is a better one. So, we need full inclusion, highest awareness of cyber risk, because it is our duty to build cyber security risk awareness and all levels. So, we need the full inclusion of all national key factor, academic community, business community, civil sector, and government to obtain these ambitious intentions. Statistical data shows that more than a half of cyber incidents are caused by human errors and bad user practice. So, those two are the two weakest points of any cyber defense strategy. And when we are talking about bottom-up approach, it all starts from providing proper education and, of course, universities as the centers of IT innovations should be not. When it comes to providing the adequate cybersecurity education, of course, it all starts from universities. Colleges and universities among all world are the leaders when it comes to innovation, so IT and cybersecurity are not exception. Uh, moreover, Universities are attractive target for cyber criminals because they are collecting a huge amount of data of students, former students, academic staff, which are quite affluent, vulnerable categories of people. So, uh, moreover, universities' databases are connected with uh, private-owned devices through a different kind of Wi-Fi networks. And when it comes to, when we add the weak password practices, we got the most desirable scenario for every hackers in the world. It all starts from basis. If users are not aware of cyber threats, they're, of course, incapable to even identify the potential cyber risk and to respond adequately. And we need to provide quality trainings in all institutions to help employees to recognize potential risks and find the best way to react while keeping the all business operations in functions, which is high ambition task, task of course, uh, but this is uh, the one way we should stay on. Providing cybersecurity trainings for employees shouldn't be a cost, uh, costly task for average enterprise because we are talking about raising awareness at the first place and we are talking about building trust in a system of cybersecurity education and business, building trust in technology. So this is more than cultural transformation, not just educational or digitalization transformation. This definitely requires further efforts, much more work and human, intellectual and financial resources to fulfill these in ambitious intentions. So I dare to express that initiatives like this, like project of good governance in cybersecurity of Western Balkans, will be um, encouraging for all of us to stay on this ambition of improving cyber resilience in Western Balkans. Thank you for your attention.